it's your boy noodle nick back with some controller settings go right here and then settings boom look at the top hit controller now you're gonna see aiming mode you're gonna want to put this on hold if you have it on switch you would tap l2 and it would stay scoped in you let go l2 it'll stay scoped in if you have it on hold then you hold it down and then when you let go then the ads is canceled printing mode auto this for me i just use to help prevent dead slides you could put it on hold you could put it on switch you could put it on auto i use auto you put it on hold you know what that is you hold the shift button and as soon as you let go of the shift button you stop running on switch you just tap Tap the shift button and then you stay running and then you tap it again and, it, and you stop running. Crouch, I have it on hold, not switch. For aim assist, you want that enabled. Please don't ever turn this off. Otherwise, none of this is going to help you at all. Not in the slightest, if that one isn't on. Medical roulette, operation mode, you want to use press to use because that's quicker. Sticker roulette, press to use because it's quicker. Wheeled vehicle, use separate brake and throttle keys. I have this on, so you use L2, R2, L2 to reverse, R2 to drive, or you have it disabled and you just drive around with your left stick holding it forward, which I find to be kind of awkward and not usually how most racing games are, so I have it on enabled. Again, that's personal preference. Revision sensitivity, these, in order for these to work i'll kind of go through and explain what each one is but basically a lot of these they are very dependent on each other so go ahead and copy these exactly try them for yourself and then at the end when i'm finished reading them off i'll explain to you what you can adjust to make them better for you if you adjust some of these it's going to make your experience just the worst so vision sensitivity i have them very high vision response curve i have on linear linear gives you the best diagonals so far i've, I've tested out all these for the most part it seems like linear works the best i'll kind of explain to you how the mechanics of the aim assist work this season because they've changed for invert vertical look i have this off left stick dead zone i have on none right stick dead zone i have on small you could put this on none if you want i like to have a little bit of dead zone sometimes it's better just to have none i prefer a small amount just because it's the way i grew up gaming with a small amount of dead zone i'm just used to it anyways i keep this at a 1.1 i don't think it really makes much of a difference i just tried them all and it seems like it didn't change at all so maybe this is just a fake setting i don't know Revive Vibration, I have this off. You could use it if you want. I prefer to have it off. It just helps me uh, with consistency and aiming. And just for me, it just makes it easier for me to focus when I'm holding the controller without the thing vibrating in my hand. It just feels like my aim's a little smoother. I don't know. Maybe it's just placebo. Um, for button hints, I have them enabled because I'm old man. I'll forget sometimes. And there's like button combos in this game. I sometimes forget them and I just got to look down for a quick reminder. ADS sensitivity toggle method. I have it on gradual change. Advanced sensitivity settings I have enabled you can't disable them so basically i know these are going to be kind of hard to drag on a mobile screen but if you can get like a little stylus or something that helps out i have like a samsung galaxy note or whatever with a little stylus so it kind of helped me get this kind of perfect because it's really difficult to get these like spot on so i'm just going to read them out to you for tactical skill i have 100 i'm just going to read straight down the camera it's 100 100 135 30 30 15 15 and then for firing we have standard view 100 red dot 30 two times 30 four times 15 eight times 15 for vehicle we have we these i have just left default you can just leave these default uh it's up to you depending on whether you like to shoot out of like the passenger seat of cars or not i'm not really big on that so i've never messed with these and then advanced settings x-axis we have a 100 y-axis at 30 x-axis joystick acceleration we have a 100 y-axis joystick acceleration we have a zero joystick acceleration lag zero joystick acceleration acceleration duration zero and then joystick acceleration for ads aim we have all now for keys i have this on default and i'll tell you why this is default i'll tell you why because these were my personal settings and then my personal settings got put into the game as the default settings so default default is the way to go this is what i use you do get button combos but everything is pretty much similar to like call of duty fortnite apex all that you know everything's pretty much similar and then you have like your tactical skill that's when you get into your button button combos down there at the bottom um, and again the button hints will be on your screen in case you forget them um, I've gotten kind of used to these so they're not too hard to remember if you want to see my full settings for the entirety of everything I'll leave the link to my PC settings down below we'll just hop into the firing range real quick explain to you how the aim assist works and then we'll be out of here we'll grab the MG and I want to show you how the aim assist works this season because it's changed a bit I don't think I have any footage of this but basically last season if you have a player run across your reticle like this and your hip fire your reticle would track them 
slightly just for a small amount of time. It doesn't do that anymore. And I can prove it because back in the day, you could walk like this in front of a duck side bot. I'll walk in front of him if they would stop killing him. And it would drag my reticle with the duck side. It's not doing that anymore. So what happens now is as you're shooting, there's, there's kind of a circle around this duck side like an imaginary circle, if you will. And if you get within that circle, let's say like this far, and you start shooting, it, it's not gonna work. The, basically the aim assist this season is not really gonna work with snipers. It's only gonna work with like automatic weapons. But this is f at least for linear. Um, you start shooting here and it'll start bringing, bringing the, your reticle towards the enemy. So for example, I'm gonna start shooting. See that? I'm not, I'll show you, I'm not gonna move my, re watch. I won't touch the right stick. If you start all the way over here, watch my reticle. It starts bringing it. It starts bringing it towards him. Watch. I'll show you right here. Look. See that? So all you really have to do is, you know, just make a small adjustment for for your recoil, basically. So all the way over here, no adjustment. See how it just gets dragged to him? It's a lot more evident with the MG because it's such a big mag. See that? I'm making no adjustment with my with my right thumb. This is this is my right stick. I'm not even looking. I'm looking at the OBS. I'm not even looking at the game. Let's see if it works on down players or not. It doesn't work on down players. Not even looking. It's like it's getting dragged directly to his head. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps. Leave a like. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.